Hi, and welcome to the Rumor Mill with Judge Hubba Bubba presiding. Already in session, we have the case of the bubblegum rumor. Let's take a listen. Miss Souther, you are on trial today for spreading a rumor, a rumor so cold and cruel, a rumor that was passed around for so long, but now has thankfully been disproven by the internet. Miss Souther, it is the court's decision that you be tried for spreading the rumor that swallowing gum stays in your body for seven years. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Your Honor, in my defense, I did not know it was a rumor. I thought it was true. When I was seven years old, I was at the park swinging. Hey kid. You know if you swallow gum, it'll stay in you for seven years. I got about 168 years in me. What have I done? So you see, I didn't start it. Someone told it to me. Daniel Coleman wrote, Anatomy of a Rumor, It Flies on Fear. And in his article, he mentions that people who are most distressed by something are more likely to transmit rumors on the topic. Don't you see that I was very distressed? Plus, I didn't have the internet to fact check it. It was the 80s. I'm sure the Doublemint Twins or Bazooka Joe are the ones that started this rumor anyway. Where are they? Why aren't they the ones on trial? Miss Souther, we are here to talk about you. Now, you mentioned that you couldn't fact check what that teenager told you when you were a kid because you didn't have the internet. Are you saying that the internet is useful in stopping rumors from spreading? Yes, absolutely. When I was a kid, the only mode of transportation for a rumor was by word of mouth. Writing and reading across the curriculum suggests that some rumors offer thinly veiled covers for our anxieties, our concerns about the bad things that might happen. They often confirm what we already believe to be true, even if it isn't. I didn't know it at the time, but now I realize that what that girl told me on the playground was just confirming to my little seven-year-old self that something bad does happen when you swallow gum. And after finding that out, I felt it was my duty to warn others about the dangers of swallowing gum. Now that I know it's not true, I swallow gum all the time. Want to see? No, no, that's okay. Well, Miss Souther, I think what we have here is a case of flavorless gum. This rumor lost its ability to blow a bubble as soon as the internet made its way into our homes. It doesn't have a leg to stand on anymore, so I say, case dismissed. <laughs>